Alright, hello and welcome to the Modcast. I'm Moki and I'm here with Toast. Hey. And Zenrot. Hello. We can go ahead and take it from here then. Alright, uh, so let's talk about Global first, because uh, a couple things are coming out. They're on the horizon. Uh, I know that we've got the data in the game now after that version update for Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I believe it's on the 20th. So he might actually be out by the time this episode is out. I'm not sure. I don't know if he'll need to be, because this cover art will be real easy to make, because we just have to cut uh, Penta out of it. Yeah, just cut Penta. Um, <laughs> just cut Penta off and release it. Yeah. But uh, So yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta comes out in a few days. There was some other stuff, too, wasn't there? I, I, don't, I don't remember all that. I it up, like the World Tournament. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They'll probably have an announcement on the 18th or 19th. Hopefully 18th. Was was there something else though? Uh, Other than Vegeta? And GT. The metal cooler is going. Oh, the GT thing. That's right. Yeah. So the GT. Well, I don't know how I forgot that because I've been farming it. But so GT event discount. one is out. Yeah. It's thirty stone discount for Super Saiyan two Goku and Metal Rildo. Everyone's favorite. Everyone, metal Rildo. Yeah, everyone's yeah. favorite Super GT villain. Yeah. Super Saiyan 2, as of right now in Global, he's good, but you can still do better since Saiyan Man came out earlier. Well, he falls off so fast anyway now. Because Saiyan Man's good. better, Gotenks is better. I mean, Ultimate Gohan's just a better version of him, too. Yeah. I mean, he looks nice. He does. He looks very nice. It's like Saiyan Man also looks nice. Yeah. And he has something speed. Don't feel too and bad if you get him. Just know that... Uh... You don't have to go crazy he for him. fast. <laughs> yes. He's more like a uh, a happy surprise from when you're pulling on another banner. Yeah, that's that's a better what time to go for him. Yeah. Uh, um, so the GT event came out, and it's got the farmable Baba fruit. Yes. And that gets you two old Kais, and then the medals to Dokkan Awaken. But that's it, right? Like, no units right. come from it? No, but you can also buy a ton of, like, Awakening Metals, training items, Hercule statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can do that. And so then, so we're waiting on it's... Global Demo. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, he good. Go ahead. No, I, I finished, actually. Oh. So Global is waiting on the next GT event now, because their order's all screwed up right now. Uh, we're sitting on GT2. Waiting to go into GT3 with Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Super Baby Vegeta. Is it? Basically, I mean, it, yeah, also, oh, go ahead. Uh, I mean, it's like right around the corner. I mean, it's supposed to be soon, right? Because, I mean, we got Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta coming out in less than five days. We've got only Beerus left after that, and then it's Super Vegeta. Yeah, which is already in the files. Yeah, Super Vegito is also in the file, so everyone who's clinging really to their stones it. for dear life. I thought we had more yeah. time. <laughs> they don't love Broly enough to put him in yet. He's coming. I don't blame them. Well, to, to be fair, uh, Bandai forgets that there is a physical version of the God Leaders themselves, so... Yeah. Don't blame anyone Yeah, it's else. been a while since... Well, I guess... Super Vegito came back, like, right away. Yes, he did. Yeah. Because that was the one um, that he wanted. Speculation is Burley will come back with Omega. But, like I said, that's speculation. Well, his event probably will, but I doubt the unit will in the banner. Uh, the... His, um, his event's come back, like, two or three times already, hasn't it? Well, we'll go yeah, back. the fight we'll, has. We'll probably go into this more in Japan. <laughs> fair, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Just one last <laughs> thing about the GT events. Farm the characters, please. They're really good for Super Strikes. Yeah, I mean, Goku's good in general if you don't have Cell. Rildo is a good defense unit, I believe. Yeah, and then... yeah, he's a decent tank. Yeah, he is. But for Super Strikes, he'll do. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. He'll do. There's a reason we put them on all our recommended units. Yeah. It's the reason why Krillin gets the shine. Is that and now to Japan. Wait, is that <laughs> was that written for global? Was it? That's pretty much it, yeah. Uh, I mean, do we the Baba Shop SSRs are out, but I think we talked about that already. That that was a long time ago when yeah. I actually played global. I I, I do, mean I do want to mention one thing, which is uh, 
it mu if we do have someone from there that looks at our side, how bummed must they be that they stop putting on release dates to stuff, and then we figure out when they want to release it, and they still can't release it on time. <laughs> so we, and we still get angry at them for it. But Funny it's thing like, is, it was like, ever since like the, uh... it was like that was their own personal goal, and we're going into their personal space and making fun of them. It's like, <laughs> oh man, good job. I remember after the failed attempts of the first cooler event, they just put coming soon on everything. Yeah, just kidding. They they can't meet the deadline. That's the best they can do. Remember that the cooler event just the first time mistake. It took him like there's like a whole bunch of tries to get it on. We had a ton of maintenances. There was actually one time where like they had the event and banner up for like a minute. And someone summoned on it and got cooler tech. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> that was that was some funny stuff. That was and like, then didn't they, they eventually just give up after a while and come back to it later? Yeah. It's sort of similar to like the World Tournament. That's why it's so far back. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. Alright, that's all I really wanted to say. That's our piece on Global. And to touch on that, because we know that people want to hear us talk about global the problem with that is that stuff that that we can talk about you we can't really break news in global you know no like it's it's not news to break because you already know what's coming it, it, we try to talk about like the events that are up and what's going on but it gets really hard after a while because we can't we can't talk about how new things are happening and we can't talk about the direction that the game is going to go because global version doesn't dictate any of that so we don't mean to seem Japan-centric. It's just easier to talk about it. There's more to talk about. Yeah. At, at best, gl we can tell Global 2 as warning signs and say, like, yo, this is coming, and that's about it. Japan yeah. is basically the future trunks. Yeah, we've... <laughs> as <laughs> proven true, the future trunks parallel uh, still exists. We come yep. from six months in the future. Everything gets bad. <laughs> but you guys well, it's only get... like two months now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Japan, how about that Bulls in, right? Uh, yeah, no I finally got Gotenks. I was ready to, to just be done forever because I was sick of pulling and getting nothing. But I finally got Gotenks and Beerus in the same banner. I'm not even using Beerus, and I don't care because it's just a beautiful box trophy just sitting there. <laughs> Now you don't have to pull to the uh, rainbow lead. Yeah, I still can't decide if I want Omega. He it would have to be really good, things, I think. Really, like, I don't, I, there's no way he'll get over in a flash. That's for sure. I want Omega in the sense that I want God leader. The God lead. I don't want the unit. I want the leader skill. Yeah. Doesn't really matter who has it. They could have given it to, um, shit, what's his name? Well, they could have given it to the little guy from Dead Zone, and I would have... Garlic been, Jr.? They could have given it to Garlic Jr., and I could have <laughs> still been like, sure, I guess I'll use him because he has it. Or I'd rather have Garlic Jr. God lead. I'd be okay with that too, actually. <laughs> I, I, I'm I just going to say, even if, like, I mean, we've talked about spoilers, but Super Saiyan Rose, I really want him to be a Rainbow God. I would love it. I, I don't see it happening, but I would love it if it was. It's like, that is basically Bandai's major cash grab right now, if they want to cash in on any hype. Let me, let me tell you about... I feel like it's... Me... I feel like it's hard for them to do GT and Super content, like, quickly. I mean, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken came out pretty fast in comparison to, like, when the episode aired. But we were still halfway into where we are in the Future Trunks arc right now when it came out. And they, they don't seem to do GT and Super too often in a row. They seem to do, like, oh, it's a GT event, now here's 14 Dragon Ball Z banners. Oh, we have a Super event, and now we're back to Boo Saga stuff. You know? I mean, to be fair, from what I've heard, the people in Japan don't really like GT. I mean, yeah, that's what we got told, but Omega Shenron is still the STR god leader, so... Yeah. 
They're like, we gotta give, we gotta make one good GT unit. There's probably it, like two. I mean, already. Super Saiyan three Goku is already really good though. Yeah, he's gonna be really good when Omega comes out too. Like really good. Doctor Wheelio, that was the person Doc- I also wanted to bring up. I would like Doctor Wheelio, be... the the robot the from robot the world's strongest. Brain. Yes, the guy, the the robot <laughs> brain guy. He could have give been him a team. giant form. Yes. These are all Doctor Jero I... before there was Doctor Jero. Yes. These are all units I would have gladly taken over Omega. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so what? So what's going on in Japan? I played Japan, but what's going on? In Japan? <laughs> we got a uh, we got the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Kai Ken lead. Yeah, sure. Golden Frieza came out. He's all uh, right. He's got the. I mean, he's okay. He's not Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Ken by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I mean, but he's it's good. hard to compete with Kaioken. He has like all the major link skills that aren't fusion. Yeah, and he has over nine thousand uh, attack points. <laughs> So he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, but Golden Freeze is not bad. I mean, he's got shocking speed, which on Mono Tech is feasible. It's not great. You can put him with third form Frieza. Yeah, I mean, he's got third form Frieza, final form Frieza, Beerus, uh, the Weiss. tournament Mystic Gohan, if you have that, uh, Whis. Yeah. Um, I don't know of anyone. I guess I could look it up. Picon. I'm literally on. Yeah, Pycon. That's a good one. Yay, Pycon is back. He's he well. Never, he never left our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> he never left Laughing Man's box. Oh, Janembu has it. He does have it. <laughs> he does. So there you go. <laughs> Janembu was the closest thing to a tank that Monotech had before Golden Frieza came out. Too bad you can't because... pull him. You guys remember when Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta came out and everyone got really pissed off because the Gacha version just shit all over the regular version? Yes. Yeah. Well, Golden Frieza has two regular versions, and he is literally both of them put together and better. So if you have one of the ones that's not the tech one, just fuck you, I guess. Because he's... The the intelligence one got raised up to 60% attack and 60% defense. Um, I don't know if it's at turn start or if there's some kind of conditional i think it's at turn start yeah which is decent it's not and the agl one got its passive made 10 percent stronger which is trash which is borderline hilarious he went from 80 percent damage reduction if your health is over 50 percent to 90 percent damage reduction if your health is over 50 percent which means nothing (laughs) in any way I like it would have been much better to change the HP requirement. Yeah, I by like the, miles. I want to see the dev meeting for that. Where a guy walks in and goes like, "All oh, right, we need uh, Agile Golden and Frieza to be bet to what's his new bet? What what what's the what would change? All right, hear me out. Give him ten percent. Ninety percent. You're a crazy <laughs> man. Do it. Color his arms gold. <laughs> It's Color his hands and feet golden, and he's perfect. <laughs> that's and then they where the tip is. No, oh, yeah, no stones for that though. Yeah. No. They, didn't they do the same thing basically for future Gohan? They added like ten percent to his passive, and that was it. Uh, ten percent attack and seventy percent defense. Oh. I'm starting to see why they didn't uh, do anything for Super Saiyan Go tanks, because I feel like they would have just made it. <laughs> 87 percent and they were like that's that's not right that's not a good number to look at let's keep it at 77 super seals <laughs> twice <laughs> twice as long yeah actually that would be that, pretty that would actually be really that, good yeah that would be incredible actually yeah that might actually be too good wouldn't that be like four four turns along if would, you did a super it would basically it would be it'd be an unending loop because you'd be able to continuously just keep him not being able to use his sa at all yeah, because Go Tanks would keep coming back up before it wore off. In other Japan news, remember when you didn't want friend points? Now we all do. Yeah, how about that? The the LR, Android 17 and 18. Second most friend important characters seven. in Dragon Ball Mythos after Goku is Android 17 and 18, apparently. I mean, they got a background. That's more than what uh, Goku got. That's true. Their card art is way better than Goku's. 
It's actually oh, yeah. Hento likes it a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a lot of things to like about that card art. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wonder why. I mean, it, there's just a lot of flashes of lightning that I like. And it's there's, Have you seen it animated? The raining? It's rains? Yes. That's cool? It's... That card is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Android I mean, 18's boobs what grew like 19 sizes three, to be on this specific card. I mean, she need. I did just 20 this one card, and I didn't get them. Man, uh, I don't and know. And then I see up. like I see like Penta and Kong or whatever. Get them in like six. I got them in three. You know, I hate you too, Zenrat. I had <laughs> so I was originally gonna do a pull video. To show my uh, pulls with it because I had over uh, 90 and it's a good thing I didn't because over 90 I got exactly two. Hey, oh my I got, god. <laughs> I got Hercule. I mean, I got some, right? six Hercules. <laughs> two Yeah, my one Hercule Android. is not an accomplishment. I got Hercule before the banner got updated so I'm like the last person on the planet that got Hercule before it got easier to get Hercule. So I take some pride in that. I, I mean, I, I got, got him on global, but I got him for, that counts dead. I got him at that point as well. At one point, I only had him once before the fucking Hercule apocalypse was upon me, and I got nothing <laughs> to get these guys to get these bastard androids to fucking S A ten, and then I have to do so, it again. Again? Why again? Because they have to go to S A twenty. Man, just use old guys. I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> I probably will. I'll probably, you know what the sad thing is? I'll probably end up using 18 Elder Guys. <laughs> In other news, enjoy your Hercule statues. Yeah, lots of those dropping. Gold ones are coming out now. And I thought that would be a good thing. But then after how many I've gotten, I don't want it anymore. I, don't want it anymore. I have 52 and a half million Zeddy. I'm pretty close to getting 9999999 Zeddy. <laughs> uh, so, so these Android cards... Um... Well, I just want to mention, I really like the idea of putting two units into one card. It actually, Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool, because it also gives them the ability to finally make something like... I saw someone immediately post up, like, yeah, Ginyu. I would love yeah, a five-man... Yeah, Force would be amazing. <laughs> a five-man Ginyu team? Yeah, whatever. Slap whatever you need. <laughs> Onto those Give shocking speed for Birder. Let let them have... even if it's not the Ginyu Force, at least Jason Birder, because they actually fought together. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, like Goku and Vegeta's one that they talked about. That'd be cool, but unlikely. It solves the problem of how do you make these units who are not as good as Goku or any of the main cast <laughs> at all. How do you make them better? And the answer is just combine them. <laughs> Because hey, that's how we could finally get... Everyone complains about Vegeta getting screwed over, but if they put him on a card with Goku, he'll be good. Yes. Oh, oh, but that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. Uh... Man, I was about to go real mean on Vegeta, but now I feel bad because Fed is not here. <laughs> so we don't, have the, we don't have the Vegeta fan just laughing in the background. We don't have the, the, the angry Vegeta fan. The angry Vegeta fan, yeah. Uh, oh, you, okay, you know what? Good card. Standing upright Goku, dead Vegeta on the floor from them. <laughs> oh my god. No, Goku burying like... Vegeta. <laughs> That's his essay. <laughs> uh, also, no, it, it's, it's Goku and Vegeta on the floor, but you can see the death beam going towards Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, he take. That's actually one of the passive is that the Vegeta will take a hit for you. So when the essay comes, <laughs> Vegeta will come in and take the tire blow. Can the animated card art be Goku blocking all of Frieza's finger beams except for one that is going through Vegeta's chest while he's laying on the ground? Yes. Why didn't you block that one? <laughs> There's smoke coming from his chest as it goes through him. <laughs> uh, Alright, we should actually talk about the cards, though. Yes, yeah, so, so, uh, the androids any... are really well made. The art is great. Their SA animation is actually pretty legit for how do you make a unit with two units attack. Which is, they did good. Luckily enough, they've been doing a bunch of Android cards that already kind of do that. Yeah. But, yeah. The one thing I will say that I missed, because I talked to Sah we were talking, me and Zahal were talking a bit, and we were saying, like, well, it's, because uh, we don't know if they have two animations like uh, Super Saiyan Goku does. 
And then I was saying, I well, they do. They do? Well, their second animation isn't this, which is what I wanted, which we, which I came up with when I was talking to them. It should totally be them taking an arm off the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> just like that's their SA animation. Is that suddenly they, they just rip out the other person's arm? Well, I thought I they were going to actually made, use yeah. the attack that killed future Gohan, but they didn't. Because it looks like they're going to do it. Because they, 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 have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. The new one? Yeah. Yeah, where they like wail on the guy, and then they hit him straight downward. Like, they kick him down below them. Mm -hmm. And then I thought they were going to do the thing that killed future Gohan, but then they just do like a generic back-to-back -back key blast. I guess like they... Still looks cool. Yeah. It does look cool. But I guess they didn't want to, in this mobile game, suddenly have this attack that killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kamehameha killed people. Yes, it does. But the when you show but destroying people, the planet kills people, and this, that's how disintegrating they a person's body is somehow better than mutilating their body. <laughs> than than a lot of stab wounds. <laughs> it's probably why we won't get the Super Saiyan Rose uh, gut stab, which would be amazing if every single character just got stabbed in the gut. <laughs> Just got the Vegeta gut stab? Yeah, just like everyone. Like, it's a special animation for everyone. You're just stab stabbing Red Rocket grunts. Red Rocket. Red Ribbon. <laughs> Red Ribbon. Red Ribbon grunts. Uh, I'm getting their name confused with Team Rocket, which is... <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out very strange. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah, the those androids are extremely well made. I'm, if all LRs kind of follow this same kind of thing... At the very least, we get cards that are just really awesome to look at. Can we at least get a character that's relevant next time, though? I mean, I'm pretty sure next character's got to be uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. It was like one of those... No, it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 go-to, because who needs Vegeta? <laughs> How it's going to be like... Be I'm, I'm convinced game. after the androids, it's going to be like Deborah. The next <laughs> LR is going to be Deborah. It's going to be Cookie Deborah. After Boo turns him into the Cookie. Oh, and then man. after that, mm. man, that'd be pretty good. I think the only reason they did androids first was literally because like everyone was expecting Vegeta, right? Like, let's not fuck around. We were all sp expecting Vegeta. I mean, yeah, pretty much everybody. It was. seems like they were going from like the statue, the statue line lineup, yeah. whatever, and Vegeta came out after Goku. So I think it was more them kind of going like, "Hey, here's something just what if a little we did bit this? different." <laughs> like. The other, the other LR is coming. Just give him some time. But for now, use your friend points on these guys. We know you've been on the them. Bright, uh, on the bright side, their agility and they have shocking speed. Which is the only good key link they have. Which is unfortunate. Cause it's they the got, like, only <laughs> good link they have in total. Until there's you more LRs. Super Saiyan God, Whis, Vegito, Gohan. Who else? The Let's problem see. is you can't stack uh, LRs because none of them link together for key, and they all need 24. Yeah. There needs okay, to be... Okay, Ken has it. Who has Beerus it? has it if you have him. Yeah, if you have Gotenks him. has it. Pycon, Super Strike. You're not using any of these cards, though. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. That's the How issue with the androids. Well, is uh, you're the, what was you're the... using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and you're using if you uh, Mystic Gohan, and that's probably it. That's if and Vegito, he has it. So, I mean, Whis has it. I've had him on uh, my team for the last time. Yeah, but the, Super Saiyan 2 Goku replaced him. The current team build I've got is all 100% shocking speed. I don't have... I'm also... Chances are when those androids are up and operational, I'm finally dumping Super, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm just He just makes me sad. Yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a letdown now. Yeah, my he's... agility team is a mess of just links. You got... Three units with shocking speed, two with Freya for war, two with uh, over in a flash, and then you got Super Saiyan 2 Goku who's just here to give me more key. Yeah, but that's what he does. He just makes it so that you don't have to have perfect links, so you can use these whoever. Yeah, having nine key in one turn without any extra bonuses is amazing. Yeah. Which is... So, I mean, the androids are... Yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, so the androids are good. They're, they're a good card. Yeah, they're good. Like, they're definitely good. I think the issue is... You have to bring a support for them, sort of in the same way that you have to do it for LR Goku, because shocking speed is not enough. No, it's not. And so, the only orb changers that I know of, off the top of my head, for AGL, are the SR Broly Trunks 
that turns, I think, is it rainbow to blue? I think so. Mm -hmm. And then the SSR Future Android 18, who turns, I believe, uh, physical orbs to blue. Yeah. Those cards are both absolutely god-awful. Yes, they are. So... I mean, Your only support is going to be Shocking Speed and Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And any basically. of the plus three Agile guys that you have on your team. Though they at least one you have to, you chances are have. Yeah, but like, so how much damage are you sacrificing by supporting them? Because with LR Goku, that Bardock is actually really good. Yeah. The tech Bardock, I think he's like one of the most underrated cards in the game. He's really good. You see him as really good with Goku. He's a super sealer. He's got a very small attack buff. I mean, it's 20%, but it's still there. He's got supreme damage. He's got golden warrior. He's good. The future 18 has extreme damage. She has the same passive as he does, so she gets a 20% attack buff. And then she has all, like, android keylings. The, I will say that uh, in, in, in an, a pure agile team, they... You'll never get their maximum efficiency from them. At best, you're gonna get a pretty strong beat stick. That's the main thing. But I think the the team that they actually do kind of shine on, which is actually really funny, is a team in which it's composed of nothing but Android 17 and 18, <laughs> which you can now do because you have a double lead of plus four Keef with them. And then you have future 17 and 18, and you have normal 17 and 18. So that's in your yeah. I guess you could do that. And then you would put Camel. in Android uh, sixteen just to make a cannon. And then you have this <laughs> you have this team that um, literally when they're next to any of the androids, they're gonna get more than enough key. You don't need orb changers at that point because they get plus two from literally everything. All their links are just nothing but plus two. So that's the one way to get them immediately. And it's only in this one. Very, very, very hard team to make because no one <laughs> has all those units. I'm missing like two to finally make that team. If I ever get those two, I will gladly make that team. But that's about the only team I can see in which you can 100% use them to maximum efficiency. New it's, meta, yeah, I mean, infinite energy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fun fact also, I don't have a single SSR Android 17. That's yeah. good. You should be I somehow managed yourself. to wade through the tournament this whole time without ever rolling. I've got, like, every 18. I don't have any 17s. I was spared, except for the, the LR androids. I pulled them out of the friend pool, so I, I he counts, I guess. Yeah, he counts. He's, he's Too bad he can't get a Super Saiyan God Goku. Yeah. Or tournament, please. Update your banner, for God's sakes. Yeah. Jesus. Um, oh, okay, uh, so... Oh. I just want to mention this real quick, because I think I might have cracked the code, and I know who the next two uh, units who will n be um, similar to Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, in which they have the leader skill that's 100% uh, to everything, no key. Next has to be okay. Intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and physical Super Saiyan God. Okay. I guess that's, I could see it. Yeah. That's what I'm currently seeing. If they go in the current track record of they're going, in which it's currently all <laughs> dudes from Resurrection of F. Now then... I can only imagine them just buffing the like really old Super Saiyan God physical that we all trashed on. That would be amazing. Actually, it Please actual don't, case, Bandai. If, <laughs> Please don't. Please made... don't. Man, Every game. time I pull one of those Super Saiyan SR Goku physicals, I just kind of feed them to my uh, re the starter one. Yeah, that's about as what they're good for. But uh, they're they're due for another. I guess that's the only that's the final rainbow piece of the rainbow Super Saiyan God dream. It's that physical, a legit physical. One. Uh, there's no tech one. Oh shit, you're right. All right, theory out the window. <laughs> Throw it out the window. <laughs> Go we'll black. see, there's actually a pattern uh, with these so far that I, I'm interested if it's a coincidence or a pattern. Uh, when the first one that came out was Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, mm -hmm. and he came out right after Gotenks, and he's the color that's weak to Gotenks. Yeah. 
Well, Golden Frieza just came out after Buhan, and he is the color that's weak to Buhan. Yeah. So if they keep that pattern going, the next one will be physical to be weak to Omega. I guess to make... I don't know why they would do I guess so that you can use your new mono team and just trash the shit out of the boss. Yeah, that'd be fun. If you got if you got the god lead from beforehand, I guess that's why they would do it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm interested to see if the next one is physical and if this is intentional or if it just happened to work out that way when they were releasing stuff. Yeah, well, we'll see. I think it, it might be intentional. Now that you mention it, like the next Dokkan Fest should be a Dokkan Fest in which if you had a god leader, you can now just dunk on them like crazy. So you can post yeah, and I mean, there. Omega is next, so it would have to be a physical one after that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I think that's all for Japan at the moment, right? Pretty much. I mean, androids are good but overrated. Um, Gold Frieza came out, and he is also good-ish. Pretty good. It, it's not that exciting of a month. To be fair, I was pretty excited about those androids. It was more of the fact yeah, but that you were also excited for like B Pan, Pandel, and B Pan. So. Yes, but I was excited in the sense of like I like the unit they added. Like it's a sad state of things. I cannot get excited over the idea of a Super Saiyan Goku. Like I my my LR was deferred because <laughs> Super Saiyan Goku came out and I said another fucking Goku. And that was not the reaction that you want. And uh, I'm I'm in a minority here, obviously. And I, again, I'll say, I love the big idiot. Doesn't mean I always have to see the big idiot everywhere. Much respect to Goku. All right, let's move on. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, the uh, Tokyo Game Show or whatever. They had a uh, Dilltown event. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We got 100 Gregory medals. Yay! I mean, that's the funniest thing you could give out. Well, I mean, it happened because someone important. asked to have Gregory medals, so they said, okay, we'll give Gregory medals, so they gave away 100 Gregory medals. I mean, they should have actually fixed their problem, which is to get off of the Gregory medal dick and make me use my bubbles in my Dr. Giro's. I have 999 but... bubbles. I, I, I have to throw them away just to get them out of my gift box. That poor monkey. So, I, I've been firing medal events lately here. I got... Oh, wow, they, they're actually pretty... Close. 433 Gregory, 566 Bubbles, 466 Jero. It's not that That's, bad. Yeah, it's not Pretty bad. close. Yeah. That's also why we got seven Dragonstones in our gift box the other day, if anyone didn't know why. Speaking of gifts, uh, nice. Adult Gotenks from Heroes came out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he sucks, but he's his art looks cool. So. It's better than Chiencha. Yeah, but so is like 99% of the game. I'm talking about in terms of free physical units. He's also a uh, Also, for yeah, someone he... who still does not have physical Super Saiyan Go tanks, he is actually my best option for a physical uh, fusion fighter. I don't have uh, Chiao Man, and I'm not going to be able to pull him, which really sucks. Cause I, I mean, his attack, him. his passive is attack 5,000, which is de decent ish. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Nothing. He's, he's no he's no Tiencha. He's just not that good either. Yeah, he's he's fine. He's a silly unit to see in your box. His art is like the greatest. I love that art. Yeah. It's just everything else <laughs> is not. The whole super package great. isn't hundred percent there. <laughs> uh, but so the Tokyo it was Tokyo Game Show is what it was, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they have, we actually have all the questions here because koala -san wrote them down, which is, oh, that's because that guy's the best. He is the best. Man. Um, so let's see. <laughs> Question one is, I really like images of cute girls like the new Android 18. Yeah. Are there any plans to add more such cute characters in the future? Please say yes. <laughs> so I'm glad that was question number one. Yeah. The answer was yes. The answer was yes. Yes. So there you go. <laughs> Me, more more B-Pan. Yeah, me and Nurse, real happy. More cute girls. <laughs> uh, someone asked... I don't asked, think Penta I... has a problem with it. <laughs> well, he mostly, he mostly cares about one of them, and they already released the best version of her. So did you guys find that screen cap? <laughs> they yeah. did. Yeah, they, they posted they about did. it. They did find it. They did. Yay. Uh, question two, which I don't understand, really, 
it says, what is your recommended character? So I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, what's your favorite character or what. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But apparently they chose uh, SSR Super Boo, the tech one that you pulled in, like, the, the global Christmas one. Wait, what? Yeah, that's the one that they picked was uh, the SSR <laughs> Super Boo. Were they trolling them? I don't know, because the answer, I, I guess, probably. The answer is SSR uh, Super Boo. He's really good if you link him with PyCon. So I think they are <laughs> fucking with him. I don't think the devs know what they're doing. <laughs> this suddenly explains a lot of the gaming list. Yeah. <laughs> this is all the devs Wait, think as well. Can I also ask about physical go tanks? Uh, yeah, he's okay. down there. Uh, question three is, I don't have enough Gregory medals. The answer is, buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Screw up. You know what? I question really like four these Dokkan is... Devs. Oh, go ahead. I said I like these Dokkan devs. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking these so far. Uh, question four, when will we see Super Saiyan 4? Answer, we have nothing planned for him yet. <laughs> Yay. Good, good In case anyone hasn't figured it out, I don't like GT. Not at all. I'm a bold statement. Uh, are you ready to hear the most bullshit answer for anything ever? Yes. Yes, sir. Question 5. Why didn't Super Saiyan Gotenks, the physical version, get a Dokkan Awakening with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks? Answer. Because he's already a very strong character, and so to, in order to prevent power creep, we wouldn't give him a very big upgrade, so we decided not to do it. Because Bandai cares very much about power creep I, I mean, and preventing it. Super Vegito. Wait, wait, what? They like, said that the reason they didn't Dokkan the physical Super Saiyan Gotenks is because it would be power creep to make him too strong. Do they, don't, do they know that they've already done this? <laughs> I don't think they do. Did someone uninform? Did they? Do they not know that Super Vegito is a card? Did someone forget? Well, the funniest part, too, is that this Gotenks came out after Super Vegito and Gotenks came out. Did any, anyone and Broly! Them, anyone tell them that there's only, like, five viable leader skills, <laughs> and the rest are, like, <laughs> funzy little things you put on the guards? <laughs> they might as well just say none? <laughs> Question oh. six is, keep doing your best, and the answer is, all right, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Uh, question seven. Give me free dragon stones. Answer. Okay, you can have seven dragon stones. They love the number seven. They do love. This them. is also question seven, so that's fitting. Man, uh, man, if only they should have asked it later. How screwed up would it be if it no one answered that? No one asked that question. And they didn't give any dragon stones. They just didn't give any no, at all. Like we weren't really planning on it. Because like if you had asked Question us for a free card, we were, stones. if you were gonna ask us for a free card, we were about to release this free card right here. But uh, I guess nobody <laughs> wanted one. Now no one wants it, so it's not happening. Putting it in the dumpster. <laughs> Question eight: Will you make a system where we can put dupes to good use? Answer: Most definitely. It's still in the planning phase. But we want to make a system where people who already have fully trained dupes can still benefit. We hope to release some info in the October issue of V Jump. So that's something to look forward to. I have two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus and Dokkan Saiyan in my box, along with a Dokkan Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Hmm. That's fair. <laughs> Please, Bandai, give me something. Do something, Bandai. Uh, are we going to be getting more LRs other than Goku? So I guess this <laughs> took place like right before the. Uh, Android. Oh, okay. So it says, are we going to get more LRs coming other than Goku? And the answer is, we actually just released Android 17 and 18. And we are planning on an STR, physical, and intelligence LR that can all be obtained by doing events. Now, I don't know if that means they're going to be free. Don't go crazy with speculation on that. Yeah. But it, it could be. And then the side question is, will Vegeta be one of them? And the answer is, we haven't decided. How great uh, we you know you've decided. The answer is no. <laughs> How great if it turned out everyone but Vegeta got one. Like, Piccolo got one. Like, the reason we don't have SSRTN is because they're actually waiting for the LRTN. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get Legendary Hit, Piccolo, <laughs> Monica. <laughs> oh. Man, if only. Any more but questions? But that's, that's good news for people. Well, there's no more questions from the show. There are only nine. 
But that's some good stuff to look forward to because we know that we're getting information on the new world tournament soon, like really soon, I think. Like the 20th. Because um, there is no tournament this month as far as I'm aware. Yeah, there's um, no tournament. They're going to talk about the revamps and the V-Jump on like the 20th, I think. So that'll be good to look forward to. And then after that, we'll have this new uh, dupe system, which will also be good. Because boy, am I sick of bobbing dupes that I already have at SA10. Piccolo. Oh, man, I got so many. Gohan, man. beers. I had so many int R Piccolos from that friend summon. I already have him at SA10, and then I got five more dupes of him. <laughs> well, clearly he'll be top tier when that new system comes out. I mean, too late. He's already got ten Piccolo inside of him. I can't give him more. <laughs> can't feed him yeah, more. and, well, I, I, guess, I would assume, they. well, they said right here, we want people who have fully trained dupes to still be able to benefit, so I assume it'll still work. Another fun fact about that Piccolo, he's uh, level 33 and awakened at SA10. <laughs> Real powerhouse. Excellent. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, I make good choices. It's time to move on to the Gammy Arc. <laughs> I think it's time. Man. All right, yeah, we're not a whole lot of news. Well, then we'll jump ahead into the game, the arc, and we'll see what happens. For our basically obligatory uh, canon death, Penta is our sacrifice. Yeah. Well, he that's because he's our Vegeta, so he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gammy killed him because he thought he was a Super Saiyan, and he wasn't. Who? So then he got killed. What, so, okay. He'll come he, back next, Dark. He's our Vegeta. Toast is our combination of Krillin, Piccolo, and Gohan. Zen is our hey. Goku. Does that make me King Kai? Because I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> or am I the villain, I actually? <laughs> Cause I'm You're the probably one. Future Trunks, because you spend the vast majority of your time warning people not to make mistakes. Fair point. That probably... Well, to be fair, King Kai tells Goku a lot, like, don't do this, Goku. That's like half of his lines. Yeah, but he's usually wrong. Yeah, he is. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. What... One last thing, because we got Dragon Ball Hero stuff. Super Saiyan 3 Future Chunks. Make it happen. I am not excited for the flood of fanfiction characters <laughs> that's going to start coming soon. Alright, I'm fine with Super Saiyan 3 Future Chunks and probably Super Saiyan 3 Fusions. I don't know. I don't want Super Saiyan 4s. I don't want the whatever that fusion of Super 17 and 18 is. Majin <laughs> I don't want all the Majin characters or the baby absorbed characters or whatever. Oh yeah, baby Heihachi is one. Yeah, man, that Heihachi is gonna be real <laughs> sick when he comes over. I don't want more Broly. I, mean, I have some bad news for you. That's coming. We already have three. We're gonna get that bio Broly. Technically, we have three and a half Brolys. Yes. We got two legendary Super Saiyans. We got one Super Saiyan. We got one base. Well, not even counting that, we have the the half Broly, half Goku fusion. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Man. So let's start this arc. Play the music. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Play the music. <laughs> From what I hear, it's it's gotten even worse than when we originally wanted oh, to do it. Oh man, that one week break has made this list. I have, you know what? Let's start. So we're gonna. This is divided into two things. One is just normal ass units that you can get in the gacha, and the other one is Dokkan Festival units. We're gonna start. Oh, okay. We're gonna start with normal units because the Dokkan Festival one will literally set everything on fire. Okay, so fast. Yeah, where does the banner stop? The banner stops at Golden Frieza. Okay, oh, so it's wow. fully up to date. It's fully up to date. So let's get okay. started. This is gonna be fun. Who's number ten? Who's the tenth best normal ass unit? STR Beerus. Mm -hmm. STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, GT. It is uh, Agility is Super, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Come on! <laughs> At number <laughs> He's so weird. What, 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 are the, what are the top 10 units? You know, he links so good <laughs> with the other one. This Dragon F is the best link. Alright, he's at number 10, but who's better than him? Who's number 9? Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Straight Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. It's uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. 
text. Okay. I mean, I mean he's, he's not top he's... 10, but he's not as offensive as Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta was. You could so. potentially see him on the list. Alright, but who's... Uh, this, act, this unit actually is legitimately better than the other two. Who's number 8? Number 8. Super Saiyan God Goku. Super Saiyan God Goku. It is uh, physical Super Saiyan Gotenks. <laughs> <laughs> well, All that's right. fair. He's, 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 he's good. good. He's really good. Yeah, he's he's probably... He, he, you would see him on the top 10. He's Hard either low top 10 or high... High 15-ish. He's in there. Yeah. But well, who's number 7? Who's better than Super Saiyan Gotenks? The tone in your voice changed and it's scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> um... Turles. Metal Real Duh. <laughs> Going for the long shot, it is actually Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yay! The SDR one? Yeah, the SDR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay. That's not accurate, but it, I'll take it, Gammy. That's still not another card that's, like, atrocious. That's not That's not uh, unreasonable. Uh, number no. 6. Who's, uh, who? These, this one actually is legitimately better than that one, is all I say. Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Super Saiyan Blue. It is, uh, Agile... Super Saiyan God. Oh. And number okay. six. Uh, number five. Super Saiyan Blue Goku. He's got to be on here. He's on here. You're Super just Saiyan wondering. Super Saiyan 3 GT. I'm going back. The, they officially recognize that STR uh, Super Saiyan God Goku is the best Super Saiyan God Goku. <laughs> By the way, intelligent Super Saiyan God Goku not on the top ten. <laughs> Uh, okay, so five. that was STR. Yeah, at number five. Number four, who do we got? Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'm just going to keep doing it. One of them is going to be him. I mean, law of averages, you will eventually. He is on this <laughs> list. They ain't going to put that fucking... Mr. Gohan. It is a, a, a agile Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Yeah, I made, I made it. it. The fourth best <laughs> unit. Who's your trump card now? <laughs> Here's where the list goes... Uh, they lose you completely. Who's your third best? Oh, who's the third best? Who's better than all those units above? Below. Intelligence Golden Frieza. Super Saiyan 2 Tech Goku. Number three is Agility Golden Frieza. Oh, oh. that was close! <laughs> that was close. Pretty close. I thought they wouldn't put him on because of the HP restriction. You'd think, but then who is above Golden Frieza? I want to say some crappy answer like Manju, but I don't want to also. <laughs> it's already been established that he is the second worst unit in the game, according to them. It Who's is worse? Buff Boo. Uh, hmm. Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. <laughs> it's a physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. <laughs> the second best <laughs> unit. In the game. <laughs> so here's that a shot. Only mean one thing. Who could possibly be better? Tech Super, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Saiyan Goku. Blue. According to them, the best uh, normal unit you can get is Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Number wow. one. Wow. <laughs> that that <laughs> list Holy takes a, a real shit. dive of starting. Okay, that's a weird. That's weird. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> What happened? Wait, they think the best three cards in the Japanese version of the game are the original three nuke leaders? Yes. Those are the... And Vegeta is better than Golden Frieza, even though he doesn't Dokkan yet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the logic. Alright. <laughs> okay. The, that one's a bit understandable. This one may be a bit less. This is where the things are about to go a bit weird. All right, the Dokkan Festival units. The, okay, our legendary rares on here. No, no legendary rares. These are 100% okay. only ones you can get in the gacha. Okay. Dokkan Festival. Who's number ten? Cell. Cell. It is uh, physical kid boo. Wow. Okay, that's number too high for him. They went but... from favorite to worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, he has fallen on some hard times. 
Actually, you know what? I think he is actually... Spoilers, he is the only physical unit in the top 10. No. So, Broly is not in it. That is... Broly's what? In no. And neither is Frieza! <laughs> So no way! Neither is Gohan. Here's a... Uh, oh, that the Gohan you can find in a normal gotcha, so he's not on here. These yeah, are Gohan okay. kind of Festival. But who's number 9? Who's number 9? Who's... Tech is... Tech uh, number 9... I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Cell again. Super Saiyan 3, Goku. Agility? Oh, shit. Yeah. Number, oh. nine, number nine. I mean, he's okay. definitely lost some of his power, but I mean, he's Not still... Not that far down, good. though. <laughs> he is still really good. I use him. Yeah. Uh, okay. So who's better than him? Who's number eight? It's your number. Part of my brain still feels like Cell is going to be on here somewhere, but I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm going to move on. Um, Beerus. Should have stayed with it because it's perfect cell. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> perfect cell, the eighth best uh, Dokkan Festival unit in this game. And Even though he's probably the worst one at this point. <laughs> I mean, not as bad as his intelligence. Well, not counting. Well, yeah, he doesn't count because it's Dokkan Festivals only. Yeah, that's true. All right, number seven. Who, who you Just got? Just really? Gohan. Who'd you say, Toast? Strength really. It is Janemba, coming in at number oh. 7. I said that last time, I should have stuck with it. I know, you should stick with these, man. The second you change the answer, <laughs> that's when it turns out it's right. So, who's better than Janemba? Who is arguably better than Janemba, Perfect Cell, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Kid Boo? Strength Broly. I'm gonna say... Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta. Strength Broly. Oh yes! God! <laughs> <laughs> You're... I'm upset that he's there, but I'm happy I got it. <laughs> this unit. Who's the fifth best unit? Super Saiyan Three Vegeta. Mystic Gohan. It's Gogeta, coming in at number five. At number five. Okay. Yeah, they put Gogeta <laughs> number five. I see. I had him pegged for number one on their list, so this is this throws off my uh, my fantasy team. That throws off. You'd think it would be Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I call it now. Number one, Vegeta. Let's see. Number four. Who's the fourth best unit? You give me no hope, Pokey. <laughs> Super Saiyan three Go Tanks. Mister Gohan. Uh, it is Super Saiyan three Go Tanks. Hey, I got another one. Pretty powerful. Number, number four, I mean, he's really good. I mean, he's up there, top three, at least. Definitely. But who's actually at number three now? Buhan. Toast? I said Buhan. It is uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. That's fair. That. Number three. That's fair. But who's number two? Super Vegito. Buhan. It's Buhan at number two. Alright. Yay. Son, I was going for the left field pick. I should have I should have gone Buhan. Should have gone. So you know, number one. Obvious. Saiyan, who, who's number one? Vegeta. Toast? It's gotta be Super Vegeta. Let me have a quote from the site itself. This unit has no weakness. Your number one pick. Tech Golden Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> And I have any quotes here. Has no weakness. This golden Super Vegito's not even in the top ten. Do you want to know where Super Vegito is on the list? Yes. He's dead last. <laughs> you know who's above him? Everyone. Broly. <laughs> I so for the longest time I was like number two, Buhan. That's not going to be as bad as seeing Super Vegito on the list. But when Golden Frieza <laughs> showed up, I was like, this can't be right. 
And I actually <laughs> went to go look at their analysis, and it legitimately said, this Golden Frieza has no weakness. <laughs> there is nothing wrong about him. That was their... He is the ultimate card. Yes, and when I looked at Super Vegito, they said, what was his problem? <laughs> he relied on a Super Sealer. <laughs> They were like, "There's nothing." It was. I've been looking at this list for the past two weeks with the knowledge that Super Vegito was last, <laughs> and I could not understand what's going on. Oh God! Uh, My body hurts after that. That's all you can say, about it, really, man. <laughs> Toast has just quit. <laughs> he I think even... Toast put his headset I'll down and just walked away. Station. Just gone <laughs> at this point, man. Oh, oh, shit. Wait. Sudden change. Super Vegito is now second to last. They literally just put uh, Broly at the dead last. <laughs> Physical Broly? I don't feel yes. any better about Physical this. Physical Broly is now dead last. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. Also, uh, just below Boo was uh, Full Power Frieza, then Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and then it was uh, Beerus, and then you know the other two. Ah, uh, but the mighty Texel. The mighty has no weakness. I, I, qu I quit. I quit. There is nothing. Golden Frieza has no weakness. <laughs> Golden That's Frieza it. has no weakness. That's the name of this I'm episode. I'm my account and leaving Reddit. <laughs> Let it be known throughout the land that when you look at Golden Frieza, he has no weakness. He is he is weaknessless. Oh man, that that's it. I don't think we. I don't think we can. Even I can't. Follow... Con I can't continue the show after that. No <laughs> questions. Mentally, I'm drained. We got nothing, man. We can answer any questions. <laughs> Oh, I think we get to stop. Holy shit, he has no weakness. <laughs> it's probably my greatest thing ever said about a unit. <laughs> Who did they get? Did they get the actual devs of Dokkan to write this list? The same people that were like, yeah, Tech Super Boo is probably the best card. Mm. Mm. No, because I wouldn't think they it's would... It's not out of the question. <laughs> you know, it's a... Uh, it's real head-scratcher. <laughs> Let me just put it there. I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought I knew that. Dokkan. That defeated me. Man, I'm done. I have nothing else I to say. To I have to go. Yeah. Let's pack it up. Goodbye, Let's... everybody. It's thanks, nice. for, thanks for watching. That was a trash arc. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I think I think I'm canceling the show now that I know that that happened. You can follow also, me on my spoiler alert. I won't be on next week, and then I'll finally be back on consistently. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're we're, we're quitting this podcast, and I'm just gonna do my uh, own dedicated podcast, uh, and I'm only gonna talk about that Persona Five song I found. And then, and then you're gonna <laughs> pull more. Uh, you're gonna pull for Go Tanks again. Yes, actually, that's <laughs> it's gonna be everything not related to DBZ Dokkan Battle, Hamtaro, Persona Five, Overwatch. <laughs> that's it. I feel like that we have to remake this into the Golden Frieza cast because he has no weaknesses. That's true. We could all do this. We need to seriously Speaking get. Speaking of Overwatch and stuff, we should uh, we should around to play in some more games. We'll get there. We'll all get there. I won't. I won't have her do this because it would make the episode take forever to come out because she would have to draw all of the models over again. Yeah. But I should totally make uh, Babby make everyone Golden Frieza at the table. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. You hilarious. can't change the toaster. <laughs> I no. I'm gonna leave it a toaster, but instead of Super Saiyan hair, it's gonna have that Golden Frieza head. Oh my god. On the top of it, like a hat. You should just ask her to do it as a side project someday. <laughs> just someday in the future, just to put up on Twitter. Yeah, it's, uh, man, that's all. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in to the 
thrilling conclusion of the Gammy arc. Uh, we're mentally defeated right now, so we're just gonna go. I mean, technically now Gammy owns the Reddit. We couldn't stand it. I knew that we couldn't. That's true. They won in the end. <laughs> we couldn't. We have to talk to Fish about this. <laughs> fish, we lost the Reddit. <laughs> we lost the Reddit in a bet with Gammy. You have no say in it. <laughs> it's already gone. It's all gone. Alright, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, God. <laughs>